Hello, keep on watching to see how I created this delicious food. Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing great on this beautiful day. Today is Wednesday. I hope that you're feeling blessed and amazing. Whichever time zone that you are seeing this, morning, afternoon, evening, or night, I want you to feel amazing and beautiful. For today's recipe, is I'm gonna do pasta. There's a half a box of pasta there. And then you're gonna need one onion and one pepper and some bacon right there. I'm gonna try for the first time this right here. Um, I have never tried this ground meat alfredo. Um, normally, I buy my ground meat, if it's beef or chicken without season, because I like to put my own flair <laughs> here in Chef Wanda, what a oops. I like to put my own flair and flavors um, to my meat or whatever I'm cooking. But it's always good to try different things. Um, you never know, you might like it or you might not. That's why it's always good to try different things. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Welcome, let me introduce myself for those new people. My name is Wanda. Um, when I do recipe, I call myself Chef Wanda, what a oops, because I'm not real chef. Um, but like I always say, in your kitchen, you are the chef no matter what. So that's why I call myself Chef Wanda, what a oops, when I do recipe. So enjoy this recipe, but remember, as always, Use your own ingredients. Use whatever you have. If you would like to follow my step, I appreciate it. If you don't, that's okay. I just want you to hop in the kitchen and have an amazing time cooking by yourself or with your family. So let's go and let's get cooking. Hello, hello, let's get this started. This is the apron that I bought. I know this is not a show and tell, but I just wanted to show y'all that the apron is doing good. The only thing that I have to get used to is the, the wrap around the neck. It feels a little bit um, uncomfortable in my neck in the back. But that's okay, it's just me to get used to it. But overall, it's good. So if you haven't seen that video that I showed everything that I bought, hop in over there. But after you see this video, go and watch the other videos. I appreciate it. But let me stop running my mouth because as y'all know, I love to talk and that's why my videos sometimes are so long. But this is me, like I always say, I'm gonna be true to myself and that's one of the aspects that I enjoy. I enjoy talking, but I enjoy also listening. So let's get started. I'm gonna put the pan in here. And then I'm gonna put the bacon or it could release some, some of the aroma and also the bacon grease. Let me lower the temperature. I could even smell it right now. Oh, a suki, suki. Here you go again, here you go again. <laughs> ah, suki suki. So we're gonna leave that to render and sear just a little bit. And then 
after just probably like five minutes or so, we're gonna come back and we're gonna add the pepper and the onion. So I'll see you in a blink of an eye. Boo! Let me show you a close up of the meat that we are going to cook. Okay, we are ready to put the onion and the pepper. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more season. I'm just gonna put garlic and lemon and pepper. Just to give a little bit of taste to the pepper and the onion. So we're gonna leave that to simmer a little bit for the pepper and the onion could caramelize all together for probably like five minutes or 10 minutes. Then we're gonna add the meat, a hint and a tip. You don't have to do it, but it's just a suggestion. Every time that you're gonna cook meat, take it out like 15 minutes for the coldness of the meat could, could release and like that when you put it in the pan, it's not that cold and it could cook through everything. All the pieces of meat, the chicken, whatever that you're cooking, it could cook everything the same. So remember to always take your meat 15 minutes. It's just a tip. Remember, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but in this kitchen, I do want to do that. Yes, so I'm gonna leave that there, and we will be back in a what? For you, in a blink in the eye. Bing, like this. See you in a bit. Okay, we are ready now to place the meat. Look at how the meat is. I'm not gonna add no ingredients, only the ingredients that have the pepper and the onion. That's basically it. Like I said, this is my first time. I don't know if I'm gonna like the season from it, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> so we will see. Make sure to smash the meat <laughs> into little pieces. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the meat or smash the meat however tamar, tamalar, uh, la, 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 la. Woo! see I cannot even pronounce it, terminology. There you go Wanda, you just have to think right here in your brain and then it comes out through your mouth, terminology. So I am not gonna feel embarrassed, no siree. So we're gonna do that now and let it simmer slowly. In between, I'm gonna move it and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water because the water also softened the meat. So that's what I'm gonna do in the meantime. So then I will see you when it's almost ready. I'm gonna also put the boiling pasta. I believe that y'all know how to do it. I'll probably film it. If not, then next time you will see everything almost ready. And for you that would like to know what calorie is the meat, let me go and get the paper because I saved it and my eyeglasses. Okay. It says in here, nutrition fat, serving size for ounces and calorie 
is 170. So um, normally I do not look at nothing in the back right here. I'm gonna show y'all right there. Um, I just eat it and make sure that it's cooked the right way. <laughs> so I'll see you in five minutes. Okay. I decided that I'm gonna add to the ground meat. Well, was it ground meat or chicken teriyaki? I think, I believe it was chicken teriyaki. <laughs> I haven't thrown away yet the paper rack. So when it's all finished, I will let you know if it was chicken or beef. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the pasta. Like one and a half of pasta. And I have water boiling right there. I gotta be careful because it's next to the other pot. Let that simmer. I'm gonna stir it a little bit more. That's about, the water is about to boil. Then I'm just gonna add the pasta. And I'll see you in five more minutes or so. Yes. Thank you for stopping by. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and be a member of this channel by subscribing like that and hitting the bell for notification. When I upload a video, you'll be informed. Yes, the food is smelling great in here and I'm sweating. Even My AC is kicking on and off, but it is really hot outside. So I'll see you in a bit now. Yes. This is how it looks. Yummy. And my pasta right there. So we're gonna plate everything. I'll make a nicer plate later on for I could pin it in the front of this video. So let's get this started. I also wanted it to mention that the coffee maker, the curry, is doing perfectly so far. So shout out to my beautiful two daughters. Thank you again. Okay, like I said, let's get this plated in here and give it a little taste for I could give you my description, my feeling on how everything tastes. Oh, let me... Me. Close and personal, close and personal. Normally what I do is that I place the meat with the pasta, but I'm planning to do stuffed pepper later on um, in the week. So the half of that meat, that's what I'm gonna do. Another recipe. So like I said, normally that's what I do. I put everything together. But like I have another idea, another recipe. So I decided to just leave it this way. This is how it looks. So we're gonna taste it now. We're going to taste our food. It smells good. Let me just stir the pasta, everything together. We're gonna give it a taste, but it's hot, it's hot. 
and the pasta is al dente. It's not that soft. Mmm. I that bite I only took the pasta with the little bit of sauce that was it. And oh. <laughs> Oh, gee, so let me try the meat now. Let's see how the meat is. Let me try it. Something different. The meat, the chicken teriyaki, it has the taste of the teriyaki. Yes. It tastes good. Here, a bite for you now, a bite. Yes, taste it. There it goes. It really tastes good, that Alfredo. Mm. Oh, wow. It took me by surprise. It really does. Those package, I'm being 100% real. I haven't done a package like that. If I buy a package that is ground meat like that, it doesn't have no season whatsoever because I like to season the meat. So I said, like I said in the prior, I wanted it to taste it for the first time, a meat that already been seasoned by somebody else. I don't care who seasoned it, <laughs> but it is really good. So could, would I recommend that? Yes, go ahead to Stopping Shop or whatever grocery store you have around you and go and, go and buy yourself Package like that, something simple. Chicken teriyaki, all seasoning and everything. Very, very good. So I'm gonna leave y'all now because I'm I am hungry. What time is it? What time is it? It's in the afternoon in here. And y'all neck of the wood, I don't know what time it is, but I'm sure whatever y'all doing, if it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Y'all hungry too, yeah? <laughs> because we are all human and we get hungry, yes. And we have to, well, we have to eat. And we have to respect other people's tradition, their culture, the way they eat. Well, no judgment in here whatsoever because we cannot judge people, no. And these allergy of mine are killing me. I don't know if y'all neck of the wood also, y'all suffering with allergy season. The pollen is really high. So let me just finish because I could keep on talking. And like I said, I want to enjoy my food. I want to prepare a nice one for I could take a picture of it. For y'all could see the finishing product. So I want to say thank you. Remember to subscribe, share, like, and hit the bell for notification. I want you to always remember that you are loved, you are enough, you have family and friends out there that love you unconditionally. But for me, the man upstairs who I call God loves me unconditionally and I know he loves you unconditionally. So go out there, blossom as a butterfly, as a flower, and be enough. Remember that you are unique, you are enough. So bye-bye, and thank you for stopping by with Chef Wanda with a Oops. Bye, have a beautiful day.